What's going on people? This is Shy Harris of the Rebel Society and this is another video. I guess I need to come up with a, a crazy intro for it, but uh, today I have a topic that I want to discuss. It's a topic that's near and dear to my heart that people ask me on a day-to-day -day basis. And that is, what should I do if I want to quit my job? and I have my answer. All right, so if you're new to this channel, well, you probably haven't heard my story on how I quit my job, but real quick, I used to work at Citibank doing IT. It was a call center. I hated every day of it. I hate it here. Met some great people, but the work wasn't really for me. So in 2016, June of 2016, I said, you know what? I'm gonna step out on faith and I'm gonna go out the what I've been wanting to do for a while. We talking right ain't baby making all night. Fwin, fwin, fwin. Since then, it's been going. It's actually going on three years. It hasn't been the smoothest three years, but it has been very enjoyable. I enjoy my life a lot more, and it's overall been a lot of ups and downs. And actually, take it back again. Before I quit my job, I was making probably about eight hundred to a thousand dollars a month extra money on top of my check that I was getting at Citibank. We like to make that money, money. Yeah. And I was thinking like, you know what? If I'm making this amount of money, you know, while I'm working a day job, then it shouldn't be nothing for me to kind of, you know, double that or triple that, you know, once I actually got out. But I realized once I actually got out of my day job that I was actually lacking in a couple areas that I probably should have got together before I quit. That's what she said. <laughs> so I just want to give a couple quick tips on things that you probably need to have in place before you actually quit your day job. This is something that you probably feel like you'll never have enough of, but at the same time, this is something that's definitely necessary. Before you get out of there and before you have to rely on this passion career that you wanna to have to kind of carry all the bills that you have, while you're working your day job, you kind of should be stacking those checks. You have, you know, your main job that actually takes care of your, you know, finances, your your rent, your phone bill, cable, car, all that stuff. So if you're making money with your side hustle, then you should be putting that money either back into your business or saving it. If you plan on quitting your job, you definitely should be saving it. Me, I had the opportunity of being able to take out my 401k to kind of like give me like six months as a buffer to kind of get things together. I still ain't get stuff together in six months, but it gave me enough time where I was like, you know what? I didn't need to make $20,000 right out the gate. It gave me a time to kind of slowly transition into what I want to do and where I need to be heading at. So having, they say have at least three months reserve left over, three months of savings in your account just in case, because you never know what happens. Cars break down, you might get hurt, might need some new equipment if you're a creative. You never know what's going to happen. So it's always good to have some money in the bank just in case some wild shit happens, because wild shit does occur. Number two would be to have a pipeline of clients. And when I say pipeline of clients, you need to have people pretty much knocking down your door trying to get your service. Like I said, when I first started out, I had a couple steady clients, but they weren't paying enough. So I thought I could kind of, you know, get more. But at the same time, you just need to have a lot of clients kind of hitting you up, reaching out to you at all times. So you can always double back and say, hey, I'm out here. Let's work. Let's do something together. So on and so forth. Number three for me would probably be more so for the creators or people who are have service-based businesses but that would be to have a portfolio yes a portfolio like if you're creative a portfolio is key as you probably already know you need to have something that shows the type of work that you're able to give the quality of work that you're able to give and with the portfolio you need to show in there the type of work that you're ultimately trying to do like for me when I first started out I did a little bit of everything like I was doing a lot of photo work, I was shooting models, I was shooting food, I was shooting weddings, I was shooting engagement sessions, I was doing a whole bunch of stuff. But overall, my main mission was that I wanted to have a, a marketing agency. I wanted to help small businesses grow their brands, have killer social media presences, and make money off of that. But my portfolio didn't show any of that. Actually, maybe I had one in my portfolio but it was nothing to get clients off of. After I quit my job, I realized that I needed a portfolio. And so 
even now to this day, I'm still creating new pieces for my portfolio that is work that I actually want to create. With the numbers to back it up, with the different visuals, I pretty much include all that in my portfolio, which you can find on therebelsociety.com. So before I quit my job, I wish I would have started to put together a strong portfolio for the work that I was ultimately trying to do. Instead of doing all of those free photo shoots and free commercials, I wish I would have spent more time actually creating the work that I want to do. Because once I started to create the work that I want to do, clients have started to roll in a little bit easier than it was before. Number four is get all the equipment that you need. So with me, when I actually quit my job, I used some of that money in my 401k to get a, a Ronin. I got a strobe light and I got a couple other smaller lights that I still use to today. But if I would have known better, then I would have definitely, while I was making all that money, getting two checks and getting all this side money, I would have put a lot of that money back into my company to get more equipment, more lights, use it for marketing and so on and so forth. What I tell everybody is while you're getting, you know, your regular check as well as money from your side business, make Make sure that you're putting that money back into your company. Like I said, if you're a creative, if you're a photographer, videographer, make sure you're using that money to get new camera equipment, new lenses, new lights, new audio. If you're a chef, make sure you're using that to get all the utensils that you need to kind of do what you do. If you're a personal brand, then just use that money to put it back into your marketing. Run $50 in ads, run $200 in ads. You got money, he got money, get it all for him. Just kind of keep doing that so your name can be out there. So the money that you're putting into it isn't really hurting you because you're getting a consistent paycheck every two weeks. And I was just going to do four, but number five for me would have to be get your policies and procedures and processes down pat. So this is something that I actually just learned probably in the last six months. I want my company to be as professional and as efficient and streamlined as possible. So right now is when I've really just started to get my processes down packed. So when somebody reaches out to me, I already have a system of how they're going to go through. I know when somebody reaches out to me, I'm setting up a discovery call. They're going to receive an email that has all the detail information. We're going to have a face-to-face -face meeting. We're going to have contracts that are electronically sent out. Like it's a lot of stuff that happens when you actually say, hey, I want to work with you, Rashad. So when you actually are working your day job, you should think of what works for you as far as when clients reach out to you, what is easy for you to kind of get them through your process, get them where so they know all the information that's necessary for what you do. And it doesn't take too much time out of your day to kind of make that happen. So for the people that are watching this, if you know a creative or entrepreneur who's really thinking about quitting their job, please send them this video. I feel like this is something that I wish I had before I quit my job in June of 2016. If you don't have anybody in your circle who's actually been through it, then you just don't know. You just feel like you're just going to go out there and kill it from day one, which normally isn't the case. Yeah, so please share it with any creators or entrepreneurs that you know in your circle who's thinking about that, making that transition. Also, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, make sure you comment. I'm trying to be more consistent with these type of videos because I feel like people in our culture don't really get this type of information. That's it. This is Shia Harris, Other Rebel Society, and uh, I'm out. Oh, my God.